Well, today is ARPA Day here at the Cobb County Civic Center. This is the time when groups who applied for federal relief funds from the American Rescue Plan Act through the county but did not get selected could come here today to figure out where their applications may have fallen short. And Chairwoman Lisa Cupid, who organized this event, said it was an opportunity for those groups to see how they could do better. And I like the process because uh, it gives you a chance to look at it and, and understand what you can do better next time. Okay, good. We're grateful that the Board of Commissioners is considering providing another opportunity of distribution of funding that we have remaining. And this will give those that have applied for funding another chance to see if they can partner with the county through um, the ARPA process. And so I think those that took the time to be here today are gonna get some valuable pointers to have a more competitive application. Cobb County's Board of Commissioners recently allocated $108 million to around 85 applicants uh, for these ARPA funds. These funds are being spread in the community in five categories that were previously selected by the Board of Commissioners. Uh, we had a ceremony the other day in which some of those groups received ceremonial checks and told us about their programs. We do mental health, substance abuse, both of those programs are open to up, up to people living with HIV and also people who are HIV negative. And then we do medical care for people who are living with HIV. So we have a huge viral suppression rate. It's 90%, which is way higher than any national average, which sometimes is around about 70%. Receiving this offer money is going to actually help us to extend our program in the community. We will be able to serve more families. There's so many families with a need that we all just don't ever have enough. It's going to allow us to Instead of um, maybe feeding once, once per week, we can do twice a week to uh, more families. It is called Reach Out and Read. We need gently used books and new books for kids of all ages. So what we found is children who participate in our program arrive to school with a six month language gain because they've been read to so often and because the parents know how and what kind of books and how to engage with their children. So it's a really amazing program, and I'm so glad that we're expanding it here in Cobb. So around 85 groups received funding from their applications out of 261 who initially applied. So the event here today gave those who were not selected an opportunity to come in and talk to the committees and the members who helped make the decision to see why they were not selected and if there's an opportunity to reapply for any of the remaining funds, possibly they could do so.